Worldwide Doomers, I'm Reagan. Today is October 3rd, and I'm doing great. Again, um, it's about my second or third week in Ohio. Never been here, didn't know really what to expect, but it is pretty. There is lots, and that's subjective, I know, but there are a lot of, if you, if you take into account natural beauty, there's a lot of that here. A lot of forests and n nature preserves. I tend to stick in the... Uh, rural areas, lots of country roads, goes great with calming music, far better than Dallas, far better than Fayetteville. Uh, Fayetteville was a crammed city with jammed, uh, meaning lots of people and few roads, I mean over capacity, it couldn't handle um, all of that traffic. But I am applying just to jobs for something here, say, to do. Uh, not easy getting back into the workforce with this whole join the team and your future awaits and you know all this stuff uh, this this hiring lingo to really uh, cringe but anyways I'm doing it and I have no expectations uh, another thing that irked me I want to bring up is again Joe Rogan on his show talking to some comedian the comedian's actually very funny but um, he, again, re-incites re this, this Gen X mentality where uh, a suspicion about the warming climate, not he, that he said that he denies it's happening, but it's all part of, part of a theme in Earth's history. No one is ever going to deny that climate change is going to have a giant effect on humans, and it seems to be increasing. No one's, no gonna one's ever going to deny that? No, a lot of people denying that. But what I'm saying is, like, the temperature is rising. Yeah. But what's interesting is why people want to ignore the fact that it's always done this. Like humans have, without, without a doubt, we have an effect on that. With uh, carbon emissions are up and who knows what the fuck the gas is in the air and all the crazy shit we do with mass production and, and energy consumption. But it's always been up and down. If you would have just been 10 minutes looking this up, Earth has gone through natural periods of melt and <laughs> freezing. So, and he wears a NASA outfit. You think he would just type in global warming NASA, we would have been going into an ice age instead of humans are exponentially and irreversibly warming the climate. We're going in the wrong direction. It doesn't matter what it was 10,000 years ago. It's going in the wrong direction now. But of course him and pretty much a whole swath of Gen Xers just say, that's the way it always was. And they stop there without thinking of the ramifications, implica implications, everything that's involved, why it's happening and where we're going. Not too bright, not too bright. Let's jump over to climate and economy. October 3rd, I sent a message to this guy, got a message back, he's in the UK. Nice person. Yeah, if you're watching again, I appreciate your work. Another record day in China. I mean, China has been, this year of heat waves has been really something else. We'll remember this. We'll remember this year. That was the year that heat waves started. And we heard it about on the news. We felt it. Also in the Koreas. Can't forget about Korea. Warmest uh, October day. Historic day. 32.8. Also in Japan. Four month girl drowned. 15 houses were swept away in Kaesun in Vietnam. And I'm expected there. More flooding. Thailand and Bhutan. The happiest place in the world. Noru, Noru became a super typhoon in six hours. That's frightening. Uh, already flooded inland New South Wales. Warned to prepare for one month's rain in four days. Okay. Massive numbers of bird deaths in Australia. Heat waves reveal profound loss is looming. Once temperature climbed above 40 degrees Celsius, bodies the birds exceeding the birds' bodies' temperature, they moved to higher shelter in tree-based halls and crevices. They remained in these thermal refuges for as long as it took the air temperature to drop about 38 degrees, sometimes for up to eight hours. This made foraging impossible, and the birds lost body mass. Ranchers struggled to survive the Southwest mega drought. About 25,000 cattle ranchers located in the American Southwest. But as drought conditions worsen across the region, two thirds of ranchers are reporting they have to sell off parts of their herds. You've heard this one before. Ian could financially ruin thousands of families in Florida. 
There's no better way to say it. At the same time, the damage caused by Ian's 155 miles per hour winds could pl pl plunge Florida's private insurance market into deeper chaos, potentially forcing additional insurers into insolvency and triggering a surcharge on almost every, every insurance policy in the state. Wow. We knew this was coming. And it's going to be keep coming every year. This storm, Ian's heading for Washington, New York, as death toll reaches 87. One of the strongest and costliest hurricanes in American history. British Columbia saw less rain in three months than Hurricane Ian dumped in one minute. That's a staggering number. Historic hot day in British Columbia again. Britain's largest renewable power station is cutting down carbon-rich forests while receiving billions in green energy subsidies from UK taxpayers. Is this remnants of old Boris's plans? Drax generates 12% of UK's renewable electricity by burning wood pellets at its Yorkshire power station. It bought logging licenses to cut down areas to the forests in Western Canada. Western Canada to the United Kingdom just to burn energy. That's that's not efficient at all. Um, King Charles is not going to COP27 because he'd probably get murdered in Egypt. And hot day in Cyprus, hot day in uh, Eastern Mediterranean for October. Factories making towels and bed sheets are shutting down in Pakistan. And last but not least, prices of essential food items significantly spike in India. Demand supply situation. Price of wheat and atta have gone up considerably in the last few months as per traders in wholesale markets in the national capital. Prices are set to spike further, according to traders in Delhi. The heat wave earlier this year led to lower production of wheat, impacting domestic supplies of agricultural produce. This is the ongoing theme of 2022 going into 2023. This has been your October 3rd. What's happening? I mean, climate and economy update. My name is Reagan. Hit like and subscribe. Smash that button. I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.